A baby killed, the mother also attacked, while other kids escaped the house. For the first time, we are hearing from the 28-year-old mother who was shot several times and survived. The man accused her ex-husband, 50-year-old Stephen Clare, also attacked their two young daughters, an 11-month-old who has died, and a two-year-old who is in intensive care. Here we are, you know, I get to buy an urn and a walker in the same week. I have no home because I can't go back to the one I was in and took out a pocket knife and stabbed my three three times in the stomach. And he stands next to me and he puts gun in my face and he tells me to get in the car. He's like, you're not going to make it this time. He lives two minutes down the road from my children's school. The two children that he just hunted. I have no home because I can't go back to the one I hunted. My name is Mariah Gardner. I have lived in San Antonio for eight years. I have rented in San Antonio for probably the last seven years. I wanted to become a homeowner because I left an abusive marriage. And for me, it was most important to provide my children a home where we could all feel safe and happy. And I felt like we all deserved a new beginning. And so that's what this home meant for us, was a new beginning. So my intention was to find a home that me and my family could feel safe in. And through our home buying process, unfortunately, we also experienced a traumatic event that completely changed our lives. And what was supposed to be a safe place is now going to be our place of healing and we have so much healing to do. I bought this home and immediately when I saw it, knew that this was the home for us. It was perfect, it had everything we were looking for. And I had my kids' rooms picked out. I knew where Rosalie and Willow's room would be and which room would be Braylon and Copeland's. And I envisioned just decorating and making it perfect for them. I wanted them to have that fresh start, to have the opportunity to be proud of our new home. And now it's going to look completely different. My kids and I have completely walked through hell. And now we are just trying to build something beautiful from the ashes. And even though we're no longer going to make this home our home with Willow, we're still doing it for Willow. And I think that's the most important thing to me. Every single time I walk through our front door, I'm going to think of her. So the situation has been impossible and devastating, but I am so appreciative of our community, my friends, my family members. We wouldn't have been able to do this without everyone coming together the way that they did. I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I'm just so thankful and I feel so blessed. And now we get a new home. So